Welcome back to another Mosaic.org tutorial. If you're a med student, check out Mosaic.org. It's just a place med students can freely share their notes and exam resources. Today we're going to be talking about the submandibular space. And the problem with defining the submandibular space is that different textbooks define it differently and it can be a real source of confusion when you're learning it. So just an overview, here's a coronal section basically going through the tongue, through the hyoid bone, through the mandible. And some textbooks, specifically Last's 9th edition, which is what we have to use for boards, defines it as extending posteriorly from the floor of the mouth all the way down to the investing layer of fascia. And then it says that there are two subdivisions which are defined by this muscle running along here, the mylohyoid muscle. They say that above the mylohyoid muscle, this is called the sublingual region, and that beneath the mylohyoid muscle, this is the submaxillary region. The problem with that is that there are other kind of more recent textbooks that say that the submaxillary region is the submandibular region. So when you're learning it, you're not the, you sometimes get confused because they'll talk about the boundaries of the submandibular region as being this, but then there are older textbooks which are talking about the boundaries being this. So, because it's on our board exams, we're going to refer to the entire thing as the submandibular space, and we're going to then refer to this as the sublingual region, and this as the submaxillary region, just like Last's ninth edition does. So, we're going to find the boundaries of the submandibular space. As we've already kind of alluded to, it's from the floor um, of the mouth and the mucosa of the mouth, and then extending downwards to the investing layer of fascia between the hyoid uh, and, and the inferior border of the mandible. And so the medial border and also the anterior border, because the medial continues anteriorly and then wraps around, is the mandible. Mandible is the medial and anterior border. Uh, sorry, medial, uh, sorry, lateral and anterior border. And then medially, it's the muscles of the tongue, specifically hyoglossus um, and um, genioglossus that are providing the medial um, border. So very important then in defining two further subdivisions is the mylohyoid muscle. And the mylohyoid muscle in extending from the hyoid to the myeloid, mylohyoid ridge, which is kind of a, a ridge running along the internal surface of the mandible, in doing so, that then creates above it the sublingual triangle and as we said, beneath it, the submaxillary triangle. Now, the contents of the submaxillary triangle is basically uh, the superficial portion of the submandibular gland. And so that's why other people refer to it as the submandibular, tri uh, submandibular space. But it also, the submandibular gland that is, is able to wrap a little bit around the posterior border of the mylohyoid muscle and in doing so there's a tiny little bit of submandibular gland that sits on top of the mylohyoid muscle. So a tiny little bit of the submandibular gland is actually in the sublingual gland as well. Sorry, in the sublingual space. So the sublingual space contains the sublingual gland and contains a tiny little bit of the submandibular gland and then it has two nerves. And those two nerves are the lingual nerve and uh, the hypoglossal nerve. The only other important relation of uh, the submandibular space is to know that posteriorly it communicates with the parapharyngeal space, which is also called the lateral parapharyngeal space. And you can see here what we've taken is we've taken a section that's it's not, it's not exactly uh, horizontal, it's actually sloping down as it goes anteriorly. And you can see that the parapharyngeal space, which sits just here next to the oropharynx, you can see that at about the anterior border of the mandible here, you can see that it communicates with the submandibular space, and thereby infections of the parapharyngeal space are able to track into the submandibular space. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're a med student, check out mosaic.org.